Hi folks, it's James here. I uh, dropped the kids off at school this morning and I've got the day off from work. So after I've done that, I went into CX and I traded in some DVDs I had. I got a £16 voucher but I was good. I didn't really go in there and uh, buy anything. Although I was sorely tempted to buy the 4K Ready Player One. It was £20. I had it in my hand and I'm like, oh. No, but I didn't. So, um. I went into B&M's the other day and you might have seen I got Wonder Woman for a pound and there were Secret Life of Pets there now. My phone was out of mobile data so I couldn't look up how much you get for that in CX but it turns out you actually get a two pound voucher. So I went back into uh, to B&M yesterday and I picked up three copies, the last three copies of it for a pound. As you can see the slipcover shows that. But I went and traded them in because you get two pound voucher for them so why not double your double my CEX vouchers. Uh, on there, so I've got the sl I've still got the slip covers. I don't know why I bothered taking them off, maybe because I just had the price on it. But I might clean them up, and if anyone needs a slip cover for the DVD of Secret Life of Pets, they can have it. I also took out the UV codes for them, so I've got three UV codes for Secret Life of Pets, which I'll show you at the end of the video, and you can uh, have a look. Uh, so I went in a few of my other charity shops. To be honest with you, absolutely nothing. In there, I went to uh, cash converters, and they've not they've been a bit slacking lately. There's not usually much new in there, but there's a guy there that knows me, and I always go in and he goes, Is there anything that's just about to go out, anything that's just coming out, and he goes, Aye, there's a pile there, and there was three I wanted to get, so I took them, and I say, I'll be honest, I do try and stop buying DVDs now, because I do like to watch the better quality Blu-rays, but you know, if the if the DVD's cheap enough, and the movie's good enough. I'll take it because I'd rather have it than uh, on that and upgrade later than not have it at all or yeah, at least watch it and then maybe trade it in or whatever. So I picked up three for a pound and the first one I picked up was Boss Baby. So happy with that. Not seen it but it's supposed to be really good. I also picked up this one. It says Mad Max Weeks meets Riddick, the Winter Soldier. So it looks like a post-apocalyptic movie. And I really like those type of movies. My favourite, one of my favourite movies is The Postman by Kevin Costner. Really want to get that on Blu-ray. So I'm going to be looking at that soon. And I thought, you know, this looks good. I'll take that. And another movie I've not got, and I don't think I've actually seen yet, is Jason Bourne. So I've got that too. There we go. That's not too bad. There we go. Uh, so I picked up those three. And... Uh, Yesterday I was in. Oh, yesterday I was in the Heart Foundation. There wasn't, an, shall we say, enough. A there's too many people to take any footage, and also, also I didn't have enough for a full video of the stuff I picked up. I didn't think so. I picked up three. They done a nice deal yesterday. They had some in there, three for a pound, and. Three I picked up, which I've not got either, and I say I do unless it's if it's cheap enough, I'll buy it on DVD. But I'm trying to cut down on that a bit, and that is I picked up Annabelle, which I've not got, so I'm not even seen it. So really need to catch up on my horror and watch some of them. Uh, I also picked up Dillinger from 1973 DVD copy, happy with that as well, and I picked up the M Night Shyamalan The Visit now. Some people like his movies, some people slate them. I do. I, there's quite a few that I like uh, of his. I do like Signs. There's a few others I like as well. And uh, I thought, may as well give that a try as well. Uh, I was also in the Bethany shop. I think it was yesterday as well or the day before. I can't quite remember which. And they do DVDs for 50p. So I had a little look. And the first one I came up with is this one. It's all sealed. I don't have it. So, classic. Sound of music. The hills are alive! With the sound of terrible singing. <laughs> uh, when I seen this, I did that in the shop, and this boy looked round and he was like, What the hell are you doing? I was like, No wonder. <laughs> and they also had a couple of ones that I can add into my clipper case collection, also movies I don't have. So, double bonus on that one. And that is Bonnie and Clyde with Faye Dunaway and Warren Beatty. There you go. 1967. So I took that one. And I also picked up this one here. Um, it says winner of four Academy Awards. And I've never even heard of this one. 
So I'm going to be interested in watching this one, and that is the right stuff. So there we go. I can't remember if I've shown these to you, to you before or not. I picked these up at the shelter shop. I did do some footage in the shelter shop the other day, and I didn't find anything. But when I but when I uh, came out, I seen, spotted these in the window, so there was a whole pile of Blu-rays, but there was only two I wanted, and I picked up this one for £2, which was Black Hawk Down. I know it's an older movie, but I really enjoy this movie, so... Great story. I like war stories, especially true ones, so... I picked that up, and for £2, it was worth it for me. And I seen Kermit's Ghost pick this one up, a few weeks ago and it interested me. I've not watched it yet but I will do it and that is Pan's Labyrinth and that was there as well and that was £2 too so I took that as well. I went in the Heart Foundation this morning even though I didn't get much today and there was this one and it was, see they're blurry, sometimes they're priced really well 99p, sometimes they're priced 199 and sometimes they're priced terribly you know? and this one was priced at £3 but Again, it's one of my favourite genres, as you could say it, which is post-apocalyptic. And this one says Mad Max meets Dawn of the Dead, and that's Wormwood, Road of the Dead. It's an Australian one. And it was 2 99 so I th you know what I thought? If I don't take it, I'll regret it. So I took it, and it says an Aussie post-apocalyptic zombie film. So actually looking forward to that as well. So that was great, and uh, just as I was uh, pulling up outside the door, a, the postman was here and he'd actually been at my door and he'd, he'd put this on. I just happened to say, Have you got any stuff for that money? He goes, Oh, I've already, uh, already, I've already been in, but there's a couple of packages here for you. So he, uh, well, one was through the door to be fair, and the other one was uh, sitting there. So I haven't opened them yet, but they are here. So we'll do a little bit of an unboxing, shall we say, uh, on there. I'm going to have a little look. So the first one. Here, I'll open this one, so it's an easier one to open first. I did order this on eBay, so I know what it is. I'm not sure if you can, it's a DVD again, and I do say, as I said, I do try and start to try to avoid to buy them if I can. But I'm not sure if this one is even on Blu-ray, and see how much cost it is to buy this DVD. It's a film I really want to watch, and I have watched before, but see. Uh, Trying to get this off Amazon or something. The lowest price I could find was like 10, 15 pounds. Well, I think I think it was 15 pounds was the lowest one. And this is what I picked up. Oh, destroy the bubble wrap. And then I won the bid on eBay for a pound, so a pound and a pound postage. So for two pounds, I was uh, that's probably a maximum buy for a DVD for me. But it is 80s classic. Iron Eagle. I'm going to check the disc and make sure it's in alright condition. Yeah, pretty good. So happy with that. And I uh, picked that up. So glad to get that in my collection as well. So I don't even know if that's out on Blu-ray or not. But if it is, I certainly couldn't find it. And there's a big one I couldn't put through the door. Now there's a lady on Facebook. Uh, she does, she's called... Rachel from Pocket Savers and she's got a page up and she has a shop, I can't remember exactly where it was but they do uh, Blu-rays for £2 and she was kind enough to send me some pictures of the ones she had and I picked out seven of them and they were £2 each plus the postage and packaging which was two ninety five, which is a small parcel basically so you could probably get a little bit more than seven in for that postage but, she, but what she done is she took the ones that I wanted she went to the post office, made them in charge of the exact amount, which I thought was really nice of her. And uh, here are the seven that I picked out from her. So I would like to give a shout out, and, and uh, I would also like to say great packaging, great delivery. And uh, I would like to say if there is anyone that wants to have a look at the Pocket Saver site, shoot me up and I'll give you the link to it, because it says that she usually just sends you pictures of them, and she's usually got quite a few. And the number of pictures she sent me were a lot, but the, the ones I picked up, I say £2 each, so happy with that. Picked up Schindler's List, 
I've not got that on Blu-ray, so happy to have that. And it has got a digital code inside, so maybe that'll work. We'll come on look at that later. It's also got... I've also got Goon, which is a great ice hockey movie. I think that's great. Okay. I also picked up this one, which I have got on DVD, which I'll, trade, which I'll probably trade in now, which is Mad Max Fury Road. I also picked up the first remastered edition, Rocky. And I've got Psycho 2, so I thought may as well go for Psycho 1. And that is Sorry. there. And uh, I really, uh, my wife really likes this one, so I'm glad I got that one on Blu ray. It's only the first one, still want to see the second day one, this though. Wow. And that's Kingsman. So that's great. I'm happy with that. And the last one I got was Jaws. So £14 I paid. Plus two ninety five postage, so sixteen pound ninety five. So happy with that, and they uh, all came. Uh, they all came there. So uh, thanks for watching. I've got the digital code, so I'll show them up. I hope the budget interruptions are not uh, too annoying for you, because it seems to have been chirping up for some reason today. I think it's lonely, because we did have two, and one of them unfortunately passed away. But we'll, I don't know if they need a partner or something like that. But I think I'm going to get another one, because it's a shame for it to be lonely like that. So. Well, uh, hello, we see ya, we hear ya. So, here are the digital codes for the Secret Life of Pets, and I say there's three of them. So, take one, and uh, there's those, I say there's three of them. So, first three people who watch the video can get it. There you go. Let's have a look, can you see that good? Yeah, that's good. Jack, you coming to join me? You can't eat my bubble wrap. Second one. And there's the third one. Okay, that's, that's not focusing. Why are you not focusing? Camera drives me crazy, that should be good enough for you. Well, thanks guys, and thanks for watching. Don't need a bubble wrap, Jacks. Bye.